At the first U.S. war crimes trial since World War II, a panel of six officers delivered a split verdict on the trial of Osama bin Laden's driver, Salim Hamdan, finding him guilty of aiding terrorism, but acquitting him of two of the serious charges of conspiring to attack the U.S. Defense attorneys have long argued that trials are unfair and violate the Constitution, but Wednesday his defense team applauded the jury's decision on the conspiracy charges. I would have to think that given the case that was put on, it had to be an unwelcome development for the prosecution. Hamdan's attorneys say before the U.S. Supreme Court ruled the Bush administration's first attempt at the military tribunal system was unconstitutional, Hamdan faced conspiracy charges alone. But they say prosecutors then tacked on the aiding terrorism charges in the months after the Supreme Court's decision, when the Bush administration rewrote the rules. The problem is that the law was specifically written after the fact to target Mr. Hamdan, and that's where you lose justice. If there was justice, Mr. Hamdan would have been completely acquitted. Defense attorneys say now that he's been convicted, he will ask for leniency at a sentencing hearing set for Thursday. A spokesman at the White House is applauding what he called a fair trial and says prosecutors will now proceed with other war crimes trials at Guantanamo Bay. Brian Thomas, The Associated Press.